Hey guys, it's your girl Akia Tiffany. Before I start this video, I want you to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it. So today's video is gonna be a two-part video. This is part one, and it's gonna be about my braces journey as an adult. Um, my first video, which is this one, is gonna be more so a breakdown on braces and talk about the options. Um, I chose to do this video because a lot of people do not know that there's so many options for braces. They think that it's just that old school metal bracket and everybody's flying out to Columbia and paying like $10,000 for fake teeth and it's kind of not necessary. So I was like, hey, let me share what I know to make life a little easier for y'all and it could be a little easier on your pockets. And then the second video is gonna be a full in depth about my journey with Byte, B-Y-T-E. I actually have a box here. Some of y'all have probably seen that, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. So before I start this video, I want you guys to bear with me. This is my first YouTube video ever. So you're gonna see me looking at my phone screen sometime instead of looking directly at you at the camera. I might look away. Um, you also get to see me looking down at my notes just to keep me focused and remember what to talk to you guys about, like what's coming up next and blah, blah, blah. So let's get into it. There's actually four kind of braces that people can choose from. And many people just think like you have two kinds. They think you just have the old school train track metal braces that we all get when we're children and then Invisalign, like that's all people think, but no, there's way more. Um, you know, people get braces for multiple reasons, but the four main reasons are crooked teeth, overbites, um, jaw issues, and gaps. And they can range from minor to large reasons. Um, it just all depends on the individual. Luckily for me, it's always been minor. When I was in high school, I did get the traditional braces as a teenager, and I had nothing major at all. That's why I only had to wear for a short period of time. Um, I just had a few gaps throughout my teeth, and I wanted to close them up and have my teeth perfectly aligned and straight. So I did that. Um, I only had to wear mine for 15 months, so a year and three months, which is very small because Mostly everybody I knew at the time, my peers, they were all wearing theirs for anywhere between two to three years starting, and then some people even longer. I remember in junior high school, there was one guy I knew and he had his braces on for six, six years, literally. So it really gets real. It just depends on the individual and just how major your dental issues and your teeth issues are. So, The four types of braces that you could choose from are metal slash traditional, which is what I had in high school when I was a teenager, and then um, ceramic, lingual, and then aligners, which is what I have now as an adult. So with metal and traditional braces, it's pretty cool. Um, the pros, it straightens your teeth pretty fast in my opinion. The cons, they could see your teeth, you know. Um, so it's not really a con to me for children because I think braces are so freaking cute. But I do think in adult years, we kind of just were over that phase and we don't want a metal train track mouth. Um, so that would be the cons for adults. Um, the cons for children or adults, if you grow up in a Caribbean household like me, you cannot get clear or white rubber bands around like the metal brackets that the traditional braces usually typically comes with because if you eat curry or like if you drink coca-cola i didn't drink coke but i ate a lot of curry my mom cooked curry like weekly but yeah like if you eat curry or you drink a lot of coke or something it will stain the rubber bands around your metal like around your metal braces so that's why I could never get white or clear. I wanted it because it was the most clean look. I wanted clear, not white, but my orthodontist highly recommended that we don't do it because he knew that my mom was from Jamaica and it was just like, no, don't do it. Her teeth are gonna stain and she's not gonna be happy. So good looking out, shout outs to him. But yeah, 
Um, the next set of braces, well, next option is ceramic braces. So my ceramic braces is very similar to traditional metal braces. Um, but instead of like seeing this huge silver metal going across your teeth, it's kind of, it's harder to see it. Um, not even kind of, it is harder to see it completely because it's clear. Everything is clear. Um, the only thing you can see is the wire. Um, ceramic braces do cost more because I think for, yeah, the traditional metal braces, I only, my mom only paid $120 a month for those. Um, and I only wore it for 15 months. So that's like what, about 1800 somewhere between 1800 to 2000 um but i know that depends on what state you're in as well but yeah so i was living in georgia in high school so that's where i got my braces in high school and i only paid that amount it was like 1800 2000 dollars, somewhere around there so ceramic braces are a little more than the metal and traditional option but to me it's worth it especially for adults because it's gonna be harder to notice the braces in your teeth. It doesn't just like shout, shout at you. Um, the next option is lingual. So the only pro about lingual is that you can't see the braces at all. Like if you, if I look at you, your teeth are gonna look like mine. Like there's nothing there. However, that's the only pro. After that, there's nothing but cons. It's way more difficult than traditional or ceramic um and the reason is because the brackets the wire everything is behind your teeth so it's harder to put on the braces it's harder to adjust it's harder to clean like everything is just more difficult um and that's cost us more than metal and traditional braces as well and then the last option is what i have now i got it last year are clear aligners so clear aligners is basically just this clear sleeve that you like put on over your teeth it basically fits like a glove literally and um basically you're given these set of trays throughout your braces journey and you switch it out every week and week by week you see your teeth getting straighter and straighter and straighter and everything coming together so that's what clear aligners are and with that the prices range. The one that you guys are the most familiar with is um, Avisalign. But Avisalign is the most expensive and it's because they started it for everybody else. So Avisalign used to have a patent basically where nobody else could copy them. So they were able to charge like, you know, a good amount of money. And then eventually they lost their patent. So these other brands were able to come out. And that's where Smile Direct came in and Candid and Bite. Um, the aligner company I chose, of course, like I said, bite. Um, I do know with Smile Direct, most people I know that have it, they're pretty satisfied with their option, but there were a few people that did complain, I will admit. Candid, I never heard anybody complain. Um, I have a friend that did Candid, I said Candid, Candid, and I actually went with them for their experience and it was really nice it was in um they have multiple locations in the city i live in new york so when i say city i mean manhattan but they have multiple locations it was very boutique style it was very chic and clean and like you know creme de la creme like it's, it was literally like walking into chanel on spring street or somewhere like i don't know like they offer you sparkling water and this that and the fourth really nice and um his process was cool. Like they had like this very expensive machine that's like the price of a mortgage. And they like scanned his teeth and it was cool. Um, they took him to the back. He did his moldings, I think. They gave us free gifts. Like the gifts are only for the customer, but they gave me one as well because I was with him. So we got like free shoppers, free water bottles, um, free snow whitening pens which I do not recommend snow, but that's for another video. Just stay tuned for that, because I'm gonna let y'all know my experience with snow. But yeah. And then my experience with bite was amazing. Um, I had no problems at all. And you guys will hear about that in part two. So, the pricing for aligners as well. The pricing for aligners are very affordable. If you're not doing a visit line and you're doing small direct, candid, or um, bite, it's super affordable. It's gonna be around $2,000 or a little less than. I paid $18.95 to be exact for mine. Um, 
a Visalign is the only one where you gotta pay like five thousand, six thousand dollars because they're just the original. So I guess they just it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend clear aligners for adults, for kids, but definitely adults. Like kids, I don't know. Maybe they're more prone to breaking it because you know you can break them. They pop out your mouth. It could snap. It actually happened to me recently, so I gotta email them to get another set. But yeah, so with kids, maybe get the traditional. They're kids. It's cute. Um, but for adults, I highly recommend the clear liners. Don't spend ten thousand dollars flying out to Colombia. Um, and then the tips and braces. Floss, mouthwash, and brush your teeth. Simple. I know it sounds cliche, but I have to say it because I know people that had braces in their adult years and they were not taking care of their teeth. They were not flossing. They were not brushing. They were not using mouthwash. And they just had that yuck mouth. Like, stop playing. That's disgusting. Um, and also, like, it allows your teeth to, like, close perfectly. Like, you don't have no plaque building up in between it. Like, clean your freaking teeth. It's just, come on. It's common sense and we're all grown. So that definitely... And then if you have aligners, make sure you clean your aligners every time you clean your teeth. So, you know, you just get a little toothpaste on your toothbrush and you scrub your aligners down gently. You know, use some oomph, but gently because you don't want to snap them or break them. And then you rinse it in cold water. You never want to use nothing but hot water with your aligners. Your aligners cannot take heat. It has to be like cool temperature, room temperature. Um, so you can't drink hot tea, you can't drink coffee, hot chocolate with aligners in your mouth. You can't even drink juice or soda with aligners in your mouth. It has to be water or herbal tea. And if it's herbal tea, it has to be, like I said, room temperature or cold. It cannot be hot. Um, if it's any other thing you're drinking or if you're eating anything, take, if it ain't no breath mint that you're just sucking on in your mouth, take them aligners out. It's that simple. Um, so that's pretty much it for part one of this video. Stay tuned for part two. We're gonna talk about my actual full in-depth experience with bites and why I recommend it, highly recommend it. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Oh, before we end this video, make sure you check out www.throwitinabag.net for some nice, good quality hair human hair of course quality hair only and then also check out www.thefashionplugnyc.com you got authentic jewelry this right here is an 18 karat gold plate necklace um there's a plenty other options on the site as well for jewelry there's earrings there's rings there's bracelets there's anklets there's cuban links all that good stuff and then yeah thanks for tuning in if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much i greatly appreciate it and i'm not just saying comment just to say comment like i really want to know like you know what's y'all take on braces um what braces did you go with did you have to be like me and get braces twice again in your life because you wasn't wearing your retainer as a child or something like that um yeah and thanks for tuning in stay blessed guys later